Well, today is a hard day for millions of people across the country. Nearly two million people are going to have their job seeker payments cut by over three hundred dollars, and that's going to impact on a million children, plunging people back below the poverty line. The government has heartlessly cut job seeker at a time when the jobs just aren't there. There's over twelve people looking for every one job vacancy at the moment, and the figures are worse here in Victoria where social distancing restrictions mean that a lot of sectors like uh, hospitality and tourism and arts just aren't even allowed to reopen again so the jobs just aren't there. At the moment the government is punishing people for uh, not finding jobs that aren't there and people are being pushed into poverty at a time when we should be supporting everyone and sadly the government's going to do the same again with job keeper. so everyone who's been relying on that as a lifeline to get through is going to have their payments cut as well again at a time when their employers may well still be struggling and the cost of living isn't going to suddenly drop by a few hundred dollars uh, next week but people's incomes will and that is going to plunge people into hardship and, and in many instances to living below the poverty line. The government is doing this at the stroke of a pen and the government could reverse these changes at the stroke of a pen and the Greens are urging the government to reverse the harsh job seeker and job keeper cuts and keep it going for as long as is necessary until we're out the other side of this pandemic at the very least. I've heard from uh, dozens and dozens of people in Melbourne who are fearful about what's going to happen if they lose their job when JobKeeper gets cut in a few days time, uh, how they're going to make ends meet when their job seeker payments get cut. Uh, I've spoken to businesses who are now going to have to lay people off as a result of the job keeper cuts and all of this is avoidable. Right? All of this is avoidable. The government, instead of looking at spending 28 billion, billion with a B, on fast-tracking tax cuts for Clive Palmer in the upcoming budget should instead put a fraction of that money into making sure people can live above the poverty line and live a decent life until we are out the other side of this pandemic. And then when we're out on the other side of the pandemic, we've got to make sure that we retain the rate of uh, social security payments where they are so that people can continue to live above poverty, especially while it takes us for so, so long to get um, the economy recovering and jobs growing again. So the Greens will keep fighting to retain the rate. The Greens will fight these cuts to job seeker and job keeper to everyone in Melbourne and right across the country who is doing it tough at the moment. Um, please know that the Greens understand how difficult this is and we will keep fighting until the government reverses these terrible cuts. Authorised by Jay McCall, Australian Greens, Canberra.